Hey friends, today we're talking about greatest common factor and least common multiple. So make sure you have GCF and LCM factors and multiples written as your title on your notes. Okay, a common factor is any number that is a factor for two or more numbers, okay? And the greatest is the one that we call the GCF or the greatest common factor. So let's look at the factors of 12 and 18. The factors of 12 are the two numbers that make up 12 when multiplied. So 1 times 12 equals 12, and 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12, and there's no other factors that work. For 18, it's always 1 in itself, so 1 and 18. 2 works because it's even, so 2 and 9. Does 3 work? It does, three and six work. What about four? Four doesn't work, what about five? Nope, what about, oh, we're at six, so we're done. So now we're gonna look at their common ones. They share a one in common, a two in common, a three in common, a six in common. So which of these is the greatest? The sixes. So this, our GCF is six. All right, let's try these. 12 and 66. Okay, so the factors of 12, we already have them up here. So let's just write them out. One, two, three, four, six, and 12. What about 66? You try 66 and see if you can come up with the greatest common factor. You're also going to try C for me. See if you can come up with that and pause the video and then I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, you should have paused the video. I'm going to show you the factors of 66 now. So these are the factors of 66. The ones that they have in common are 1, 2, 3, 6, and we're done. So again, 6 is the common factor. Over here, let's look at 18 and 30. Again, we already did 18. So now let's look at the factors of 30. One, two, and three, and that's 30, and 15, and 10. Does four work? No, but five and six work, and we're done. So the common ones that they share are one, two, three, six, and no others. So again, six is the greatest common factor. Okay, so now let's look at a real world situation. There are one slice servings on three, uh, of three types of cake on a table. Each row has an equal number of servings and only one type of cake. What is the greatest number of servings in each row? So we wanna find the greatest common factor of the marble cake, the red velvet cake, and the chocolate cake. So when we find the greatest common factors, we need to first find the factors of 10, which are one and 10, two and five, and we have to stop because there are no more. For 15, one doesn't work, or one and 15 work, excuse me, two doesn't work. Does three work? Yep, three and five work. For 20, one works in 20 because it's always one in itself. Two in 10 works. Three doesn't work, but four and five work. So the common ones that they share are one and five. So the greatest is five, which means they could put five marbles, five red velvet, five chocolate, and then another five marble, another red velvet, another chocolate, but then they run out of marbles, so they do red velvet and some more chocolates. Okay, let's look at another one. You try this one for me, and I will be back in just a second to show you what I did. Make sure you star this one. Okay, so let's read this one together. Lena earned $49 on Friday, $42 on Saturday, and $21 on Sunday selling bracelets. She sold each bracelet for the same amount. What's the most she could have charged for each bracelet? 
So if we find the greatest common factor, we'll figure out how much she would charge if she charged the most. Okay, so the factors of 49 are 1 and 49. Does 2 work? No. 3 doesn't, 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, 6 doesn't, but 7 times 7 is 49. So the factors of 49 are 1, 7, and 49. 42 and 21 both have their own factors with 1. So we know 1's a common one. So we're either looking for 7 or 49. I don't think that 49 is going to work. So let's see if 7 goes into 42. Okay, well, if we look here, 42, it's 2 and 21. 3 and 14 work. 42 is not divisible by 4 or 5. But it is divisible by 6 because 6 times 7 gives you 42. Now let's look at 21. 2 doesn't work, but 3 times 7 gives me 21. 4, 5, or 6, they don't work. So the common one that they share is 7. So she could either charge $1 or $7 for each bracelet because there are no other common multiples. So the greatest is $7. Now let's look at least common multiple. To find the least common multiple, you write all the non-zero multiples of the number. For example, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. The way we get that is 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, and so on. Same thing with 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 are all derived by taking 3 times every single whole number. So notice that 6 and 12 are common multiples, but we want the least. So the smallest one that you see there is 6. So let's look at this one. Find the least common multiple of 14 and 21. Okay, so 14 times 1 is 14. If we double the 10, we get 20. Double the 4, we get 8, so 28. 14 more, so 28 plus 10 is 38, plus 4 more is 42. Let's do one more, 14 plus 42. If we add a 10 to 42, we get 52. Add 4 more, you get 56. If we take the multiples of 21, 21, double that 20, we get 40, double the 1, we get 2, and I can stop there because I found a common multiple and I know it's the least because no other multiples show up before it. All right, you try these and I'll be back in just a second to show you what I did. Okay, so start by listing some of the multiples. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. For 6, it's 6, 12, 18, 24, 32. Make sure you're checking your work with a red pen. So the common are 6 and 12, but 6 is the least common. Over here, they give you three of them. Make sure you're checking with a red pen. So let's list the multiples of 4, 5, and 10. So here are some of the multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. For 5, these are the multiples, remember, always ending in a 5 or a 10, or excuse me, a 0. And for 10s, these are the multiples. So the least common that they share is 20. So let's look at a real world example. Ernesto has painting class every two weeks. Kamala has pottery class every five weeks. They meet at the art building for class this week, so how many weeks will it be until they see each other again? So we need to list the multiples of 2 and 5. Go ahead and try that for me right now. Okay, so check with your red pen. The multiples of 2 are shown here, and the multiples of 5 are also shown here. So the least common is 10. So at week 10, they would be meeting up. 
And that's all I have for you. See you next time.